Such will be the horror of Allah's chastisement. O mankind, remember that Allah first created you from dust, then from a sperm, then from a leech-like mass, then from a morsel of flesh, some formed and some unformed, so that Allah may manifest to you His power. Also, the term you will remain in the womb is set by Allah. Then Allah brings you forth as infants, and Allah nourishes you till you reach your age of full strength. There are some of you who die young and some who live on to their abject old age when all that they once knew, they know no more. Allah is the ultimate truth. It is He who gives life to the dead and it is He who has power over everything. Do you not see how all who dwell in the heavens and the earth prostrate themselves in worship to Allah, including the sun, the moon, the stars, the mountains, the trees, the animals, and a large number of people? Sajda. A terrible punishment awaits the disbelievers. Garments of fire will be cut out for them. Boiling water will be poured over their heads, which will not only melt their skins, but also the inner parts of their bellies and there will be maces of iron to lash them. Whenever in their anguish they try to escape therefrom, they will be forced back therein and will be told, taste the punishment of conflagration that is a great fire. For those who believe and do good deeds, for them are gardens beneath which rivers flow. They shall be decked with pearls and bracelets of gold, and their garments will be of silk. Allah identified the site of the sacred house to Ibrahim salam, saying, Worship none besides Allah. Keep the house of Allah pure for those who make tawaf, that is walking counterclockwise around the Kaaba. Stand in prayer, bow and prostrate themselves to Allah. Allah further said, O Ibrahim, make a proclamation of Hajj, pilgrimage to mankind. They will come to you on foot and on lean camels from every distant quarter. Regarding the cattle for sacrifice, eat of their meat yourselves and feed the poor having a hard time. Then they should accomplish the needful acts of shaving or cutting their hair and taking bath, fulfill their vows and go for tawaf of the ancient house, that is the Kaaba. This was the object for which the Kaaba was built. And whoever honors the sacred rites of Allah, it is good for him in Allah's sight. The object of sacrifice is one and the same, to remember that your God is only one God. So submit yourselves to Him as Muslims. Allah has made the sacrifice of camels and cows among the rites of Allah, for there is much good for you in them. It is neither their meat nor their blood that reaches Allah. It is your piety that reaches Him. Thus, Allah has subjected these animals to you so that you may glorify Allah for giving you guidance. And O Prophet, give good news to the doers of good. <laughs>